Hey you guys, thank you for coming back to Delightful Cooking with Daphne. I am so, so happy to see you guys again. Just make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, please, if you haven't already. So, I know that you guys, well, hopefully you saw my intro video. Well, now we're gonna get down to some cooking, all right? So, since we're all about healthy cooking, today it's gonna be some chicken breasts cabbage, potatoes, onions, carrots, celery, and my special spice. Now, with all of these, it's going to pretty much be like a stir fry, but just with potatoes. So usually I like to get all the veggies out the way and then I work with my meat. Now you can do it the other way this is the way I'm doing it so I like to chop like this okay. get it as small as possible because this will pretty much be in the stir fry right and I love, love, love these uh, purple cabbages. I prefer them over the other type. I just, I think they taste better. I think it looks pretty too. <laughs> I know that's silly, right? Who cares about the way it looks? Well, you'll see when you get the finished result. But I love, love cabbage. And I realize that, honestly, the more you cook, or you try to cook with veggies, like you find a whole lot of different meals that you didn't even know about. FYI, when I was vegan for about a year and a half, which we'll get into that another episode, but I was strictly on veggies. As you know, you can't have meat, can't have dairy. Can't have fun. I'm just kidding. No. Listen, my vegans out there, I did it. It just wasn't for me. I enjoyed it, but no more. But it also did take a toll on my lupus. So, you know, I had to uh, go back and redo everything, especially like my foods, you know, what I was lacking. I needed more protein in my diet and it just wasn't the best thing for me to do. So by all means, I'm not saying that if that is your choice, but definitely do the research, do the research and make sure that you know exactly what foods to eat, you know, nutrition, vitamins, supplements, anything that you need to take in order to make sure that you have enough energy and that it's just done the right way. So, cabbage is already cut. I'm going to put this in here. Now, I am including carrots. I enjoy carrots. You know, I like a good juice, carrot juice, with a little bit of ginger, right? And I enjoyed it in my food as well. So, pretty much want to get as much veggies in this meal. And that's the whole point. You know, I think that a lot of the times we're cooking, we keep out the veggies, right? Or we only put a little bit. But you can still have a good meal with a lot of veggies. So, we are gonna start with the celery next. I can do the onions as well. I'm just gonna, all I did was take a half of an onion. I'm actually gonna include the uh, ingredients in the description box for you guys of everything that I'm doing and everything that's in this meal. But this is just a half an onion, and I love red onions. Love, 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 love. 
the, it's like my favorite thing. But I prefer it to be like really chopped, tiny, tiny, tiny. tiny. So I'm just going back and mincing these just like that. Put that aside. And I pretty much took, um, I wouldn't say one celery and pretty much just split it up. Chopped it into four. And we're going to include that in this as well. You can use two. I'm just using one. Alright, don't want to too much. More of these. Now, I'm actually going to take one of these cloves and save the other one for the chicken breast. So I'm just chopping this, not in any particular way, just small enough so it can mix in with this. Now, I love potatoes. I think I actually cannot live without potatoes in any form. Doesn't matter if it's baked, boiled, fried, scalloped. I love it all. So, we got our potatoes, right? Now, this is what we're going to do. We need to melt this butter. So since it is not quite at room temperature, we're gonna do one of these. <gasps> wow, I love special effects. All right, so that was three tablespoons of butter. I know it's kind of a lot, but this is not a high cholesterol meal. So I'm gonna be using this for my chicken, right? This is going to be poured on top, and then I'm going to start adding my seasoning. So, let's pour the butter. I am adding this pretty much for flavor, and I'm actually going to add in the description box as well what kind of butter I use. It is Earth Balance. Now, I have my own little concoction of spices. Now, since we're doing the whole healthy eating thing, you know, I prefer to make my own. I feel like it's better. I felt like, you know, when it came to flare ups or inflammation in the body, doing it straight like this was the best way to go. Um, I use this for my meats. I use it for my veggies. I use this for my rice, pretty much everything. This is my go-to for spices. Now it's the same thing pretty much like we have all out here, but when I really need, you know, to get that flavor for the rice and for this chicken and for this as well, I will add a, like maybe a tablespoon, two, four, sometimes three of this to get that really, really good flavor. So what's inside? We have garlic, parsley, onions, rosemary, turmeric, thyme, cayenne powder, and salt All right now i pretty much i got a i want to say handful of parsley one whole onion um with the turmeric i don't as you can see this is slightly you know tinted with the color not too much but like i said turmeric is very good for inflammation so I add a lot and what I mean a lot I add about two tablespoons so that's up to you the thyme just a little you don't want to overpower it the Himalayan salt is which is the salt that I use and we'll get into that in another video as well as to why I use that in particular um, as well as I think that's 
all of it garlic parsley onions rosemary turmeric thyme cayenne powder and salt and i will include everything in the description box as well so we need to start seasoning this so we've got the butter in here right and that's sitting in there what i like to do is start poking yes i poke the meat just so that it can all get in there I want the flavor to be there. I'm sorry, but I think we all like our meat, our veggies to be flavorful. And that is exactly why I'm doing this. So I poked that a little bit. Now, we're gonna start with my seasoning. Now, like I said before, I'm gonna put a tablespoon of that and I'm going to mix that around again. And by the time this is all done, we will have a nice flavorful chicken breast. All right, now, as you guys can see, I love my jars. All right, I prefer glass. Glass is a lot better than plastic. I think we're in the habit of, you know, switching over to glasses and using that instead of plastic because of just all the issues and chemical reactions that happen when things are within glass and plastic with heat. So you want to store it. I would say glass would be the best way to go. Now, I just added some onion powder to the veggies and the potatoes. Now, I'm going to be adding some oregano and not too much. And at the same time, I'm going to add a couple here. Now, my cayenne powder, excuse me, my turmeric actually. I think the turmeric. And I know a lot of the time, a lot of people think that if they eat organic, it's like a lot and it's, you know, oh my gosh, how can I do this? Well, I always think that when you find, you know, that right produce store or that right farmer's market, which we all have in our areas, you just, you got to search, you got to research, you can find a good deal. Uh, couple onions you you get a get, get yourself a bag buy a bag or some cayenne powder to this and I'm just mixing 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 I like it spicy now one more ingredient now this I love it is by a brand called the ginger people I love it I love it love it. it's non GMO and I pretty much put this in my meats and my veggies before after it just gives it an extra kick of flavor the good thing about this is why I'm like really just so adamant about it is because I already got everything in here pretty much. I don't need to do too much to this chicken because the spice is already there. So you make this, store it in the fridge, get yourself a mason jar, and you're pretty much good to go. So now I am going to be grilling. All right, so I'm going to use some grapeseed oil. Made by? And this is by good and gather now you can get grapeseed oil in pretty much any brand i like it because it does have a good amount of vitamin e i actually use grapeseed oil for my body but i know that it's very very good in food especially to help lower cholesterol um so yes if you want an alternative to olive oil if you're using that already you got grapeseed oil this gets pretty hot, this grill here, so I got the fire on high. Oops. 
she looks really like nice with the purple cabbage. Now, I love avocado. Love, love, love avocado. And these are obviously healthy fats. So we got our protein here. We got our veggies. And we have our fats. Let me see here. Let me add that. And like I said, a colorful plate. You can never go wrong with a colorful plate. The more color the better. Now these are the potatoes, the cabbage, and the onions. So. All right, you guys. So, this was simple. This was easy. And this is healthy. I love potatoes. I don't think I can ever give it up. So, here's some potatoes and veggies. You got your fats, like I said, avocado, which are great. I love my chicken. Love my potatoes, like I said. Love avocado. And... I love for it to taste good. I think we all want it to have flavor, but it doesn't mean that you have to eat healthy, give up the good flavor. It can go hand in hand. So I'm going to eat this. You're going to subscribe. You're going to comment. And I hope that you like, and then we'll tune in next time. Sound like a plan? That sounds like a plan. All right, you guys, thank you so, so, so much. Uh, forgive me if everything's been a little crazy. This is like one of the first videos. So I really, really am so thankful for the support and just you guys tuning in. Now, this is just one of the several meals that I'll be including. So until next time, this is Delightful Cooking with Dash.